Hello and welcome to Smart Quiz Builder. My name is Veena Prashant. I'm the creator of this plugin. Smart Quiz Builder is the most powerful, customizable, and easy to use quiz and survey plugin for WordPress. Now we have a ton of documentation on the site and we are here to help you. If you have any questions, you run into any issues, feel free to reach out to us. In this video, I'll take you behind the scenes to give you a quick tour of SQB and show you how easy it is to create different types of quizzes and surveys and quiz funnels using SQB, no matter how complex it is, uh, in simple, easy steps. All right, so let's take a look. Now, Smart Quiz Builder is a plugin for WordPress. You can install and activate it like any other WordPress plugin. After you activate it in the plugins page, you will find Smart Quiz Builder in the left sidebar of your WordPress dashboard. Click on Manage Quizzes to get started. It will bring you to a page like this. Now, on this side, I don't have any uh, quizzes yet. So you can click on this button to add a new quiz. Now, creating a quiz in SQB is very simple. You can see there are just a few tabs here. You just have to fill it out. So first tab is basic settings. Give your quiz a name, description, select the type of quiz. These are the types of quizzes you can create currently. So select the type of quiz you want to create and click on next. Now display settings, there are different options. You can display your quiz in a pop-up or in page. You can select the option that you want. If you want to display a progress bar, you can turn this on. Slide in animation. If you want animation effect between each screen, uh, you can use this option. You can turn this on. Retake quiz option. If you want to allow your users to retake your quiz, you can turn this on. It will show up on the final outcome screen after they complete the quiz. So they can click on it and retake the quiz without having to refresh the entire page again to retake it. Now lead generation screen. If you want your participants to enter their name and email, before the final outcome is displayed, you can turn this on. This is the default option. And only then they can see the final result. Connect with your platform. So say that you want to send the results of the quiz and all the other details, student details, to your email platform. It connects with several platforms. Here you can see the list, Active Campaign, Aweber, MailChimp, ConvertKit, Drip. We'll be adding a lot more to this list. So if you want to connect with your Zap, you can do that too. You can also configure it to send a webhook notification to your own script. Now, this is the format in which it will send the notification. You can configure it to send a notification to your own PHP handler script, uh, and then you can do whatever you want to do with it. So there are so many different options here. It also integrates with our membership plugin, Digital Access Pass, and you can uh, select the products, membership products, courses, whatever it is that you want to give users access to when they sign up through your quiz. You can do that as well. But by default, even if you don't connect it with any external platform, SQB will add the quizzes to its own database and you will find all the users that have signed up, the quiz results, all of that in the Manage Leads page. Select a template. You can select any one of these templates for your quizzes and uh, we'll be adding several more in future, but these are the ones we already have. Now the Start screen. So when you activate your quiz, this is the Start screen. This is the screen they are going to see first. And everything that you see here, uh, is all click and edit, fully customizable. You can uh, change this image. If you do not want to display an image, you can even hide it. You can add a description here. Everything is click and edit. There is a customizer here. If you want to increase the width, decrease the width. If you want to display just a button instead of an entire screen, so when users click on the button, they can take the quiz. Now that's the option I uh, typically use. Then this is the option that you need to select. All right, so say that you select this one. This is how it's going to look, but Again, there is a button customizer. You can increase the width, you can increase the height of this button, and you can change it to say whatever you want it to say. So the next screen is the outcome screen. So because this is a personality quiz, you need to create your outcome first. And here, first figure out what are the different outcomes you want to display to your users based on their answer choices. So create different outcomes here. And after you create your outcomes here, you can go to the question screen, add your questions, add answers, and each answer choice can be connected to a specific outcome. So when users answer the questions, depending on the answers they pick, SQB will know what is the outcome type that should be displayed because uh, you would have done the mapping between the answer choice and the outcome in the question screen. So I'll show you that in a bit, but the first step in a personality quiz is to figure out what are the different types of outcomes, uh, all possible types of outcomes that users can get depending on their depending on the answer. So I'm going to show you a real example of this and show you how we do this on our site. But for this demo, I'm just going to go ahead and create an outcome. So this is the first outcome. You can give it whatever name you want. Let's say I'm just going to call it outcome one. Everything on the screen, again, it's fully customizable. You can say whatever you want to say. SQB will automatically display the title. So whatever title is here, that's their result type. And I'll show you a real example of this in a bit. And all of this is fully customizable. The continue button 
uh, will allow them to go back to whatever screen you want them to go back to after they get the final result. And you can link it. Just click on this to enter the URL of the page to which you want to send them after they complete it. All right. And then you can save the outcome. Currently, we have one outcome. You can add as many outcomes as you want. Now, there are a few other options with outcome. Outcome uh, redirect rule. Now, instead of an outcome screen, if you want to send users to a completely different page, maybe a sales page, maybe an opt-in page, based on their answer choices, based on the outcome type, you can do that too. You can select this option that says redirect to a different page. So when they answer uh, all the questions, depending on the outcome they get, uh, SQB will automatically send them to this page. Now you can also see there is an outcome tag option. So if you have connected your quiz, for example, to say active campaign, and you want to assign a specific tag when users get a specific outcome, you can do that. You can do an outcome to tag mapping on this page. And then you can set up follow-up emails in your email platform using those tags. Save and next. All right, so the next is a question screen. And so go ahead and add your questions. You can add as many questions as you want. SQB supports all types of questions. Question number one. You can upload a different image here and answer choice. Let's say answer one. So you can see here the default question type is single choice. But if you want to switch to a different question type, you can do that. File upload, rating scale, text, where users can type in an answer. Yes, no choice questions, multiple choice, single choice. You can select any one of these question types connect to outcome and you can do that here answer one what outcome should it be mapped to so that you can do here so let sqb know if they pick answer one it means this is the outcome that they are more related to right so do the mapping and answer number two maybe this one and you can even select more than one basically sqb just assigns points based on the answer choice and at the end whichever outcome type has the most points that's their outcome type so let's add more questions so this is question number two. So I'm going to change this to question two. And here I'm going to select multiple choice, answer one. So I have added a few answers here. Connect to outcome. Answer one is outcome one. Answer two is also outcome one. Answer three, outcome two. Save and next. So users answer the questions. They will be sent to a lead generation screen. Again, if you don't want to display a lead generation screen, want to directly send them to the outcome screen, you can do that in the display settings. Here you can turn off the lead generation so that a form will not be displayed. But this is the default. So users need to enter their name and email and then they will be sent to the outcome screen. The thing is fully customizable here as well. Enter whatever message you want. In fact, another cool thing SQB has is it integrates with Quick Email Verification Service, which is a free service where uh, you can get SQB to verify the email and make sure it's a valid email before it allows users to sign up using that email. You do need to create an account with Quick Email Verification and enter your key, your Quick Email Verification key in SQB settings page. All right, that's it. My quiz is ready. So this is the short code. You can publish it on any page. You can use whatever page builder you like, insert the short code wherever you want the quiz to show up, and that's it. And you can even publish the quiz on a completely different site. Even if you don't have SQB on that site, you can use the embed code option here and publish it on any WordPress site. And branching logic. If you want to create a quiz funnel where answers dictate the next question. So instead of showing everyone the same next question, if you want to display questions based on their previous answer and create a smart quiz funnel or a survey funnel, you can do that. You can add your branching logic and SQB quiz funnels page, all right? So I'll show you all of this, an example of all of this, and I'll show you some of my quizzes and how I'm using it. But let's go ahead and test this first. So I'm going to copy this short code. And let's add a new page. Enter the short code directly in the WordPress editor. I'm not even using a page builder here. So, But if you have a page builder that you like, you can insert it on that page wherever you want uh, the quiz to show up. So you can see here, this is a page where I have my quiz. And this is just the default uh, WordPress theme and default WordPress editor. So this is the short code. So this is where I have inserted the short code from SQB. And again, you can insert the short code anywhere you want in your WordPress page. You can build it using any page builder you like. Here, I'm just using the default WordPress editor. I'm gonna click on this and show you how it looks. Now, this is question number one. Again, this is just a demo quiz and uh, this will be where you will have your actual question. If you want to display an image or a video or a GIF, you can add it here. Here, I'm just using the default image. And here you can see the answer choices are going to show up here. You can add as many answer choices as you want. 
And here, this is just a demo quiz. So I'm just going to select one of these answers. Now here, I'm just using the same image for all the questions, just a demo quiz. But here is where your question will go. Here is where you can have your image, your video, your GIF, whatever you want. Or you can turn it off if you do not want any image uh, showing up here on your question screen. This is a multiple choice question, which means your users can select more than one answer. So for example, let's say they select this and this, and this next button will automatically show up for a multiple choice question. So users can select the answers before SQB sends them to the next screen. So this is an open-ended question. You can ask any question you want and your participants, they can type in their answer here and next. That's it, this quiz just has three questions and the opt-in form shows up. All of this is fully customizable. I'm going to opt-in and it sends me to the final outcome screen, outcome one, because I just called it outcome one. So whatever you call your outcome name, that's going to show up here. All of this is fully customizable. I'm just using the default setting for everything. And they can click on the retake button to retake the quiz. So now let me take you to the documentation page and show you where you can find different demos. And uh, let's go ahead and check it out and let me show you how I have created uh, all of those quizzes in SQB. If you go to documentation on the Smart Quiz Builder site, you will see there is a demo tab. And if you click on it, you will find all kinds of demos here personality quiz, demo assessment quiz, scoring quiz, and survey. So this button, this is from SQB. Instead of a start screen, I have configured SQB to display a start button. And I have configured this as a pop-up quiz. So when users click on this, it's going to show the entire quiz in a pop-up, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and complete this quiz. And that's it, all right? So the result type is based on the answers. This is a personality quiz. I have mapped the answer choices to a specific outcome and uh, I have configured it to display an outcome screen and not redirect to a completely different page. So all of this is customized in SQB. So let me quickly show you my setting for this quiz. Basic settings, quiz a name, description. This is a personality quiz. Display settings. Here, quiz in a pop-up or in page, I have selected pop-up. Progress bar, yes. Retake quiz, yes. Lead generation screen, yes. And connect with your platform, just WordPress. And I have selected the first template. So let me show you my start screen for this quiz. And as I mentioned, I'm using a button and not a screen for this quiz. So this is a button that shows up in the front end like this, all right? And in the back end, you can see this is just a button and you can click on this if you want to switch to a screen, but I'm using a button here and you can customize using the button customizer here. And everything is click and edit. You can change this to say whatever you want it to say, change the font, change the style and the outcome screen. Here you can see I have five different outcomes here. And uh, based on the answer choices, SQB will map them to the right outcome. These are my uh, outcome screens right here. You can see uh, the content to say whatever you want to say. This button, whatever you enter here, this is where it will link to. I send them back to the main Smart Quiz Builder site after they answer the quiz. All right, so first you need to create your outcomes for a personality quiz and then the questions. So here you can see I have several questions. I have 11 questions here. Question one, this is the image. You don't want to use an image. You can hide it. You don't have to use it. You can also use a video if you want. Images for your answer choices. You can do that. You can use different layouts. You can upload an image for each answer choice. But here I'm just going to select no image. Then you need to connect each answer choice to the right outcome. So you can see here if they select impact, I have connected it to these outcomes. Based on the answer choice, I'm connecting to different outcomes. And uh, at the end, whichever outcome ends up with most points, that's their outcome type. Question number two, you can see same way. This is also a single choice. I have connected it to different outcomes and uh, you can see all these questions. Everything is connected to different outcomes. Now this is a quiz funnel, which means answers dictate the next question. I'm going to show you how I have set up my branching logic in the quiz funnels page in a bit. In the question screen, you can enable branching and then you can set up your branching logic in the quiz funnels page for the quiz. So be sure to set this up here if you enable branching. All right, so lead generation screen, I have configured this uh, and this will show up after users answer all the questions before the outcome shows up. And the short code at the end, it's going to give you a short code. You can publish it on any page you want and the quiz will show up here. And in this case, the quiz is a button. Users are going to see the button when they click on it. The quiz will show up like this in a pop-up. Let me show you the quiz funnel setting. All right, so this is the quiz funnels page and here I have selected my quiz and you can see have connected these nodes correctly. So these are the answer choices. This is a question. These are the answer choices. And you can see this is connected here to this next question, all these three answer choices. But if they select this one, 
I have connected it to a completely different question screen. And you can use the zoom in and zoom out option to uh, see all the questions on the screen. So if you want to disconnect from this node, so if they pick this answer choice, it's currently connected to this next question. But if you want to disconnect, right, right click, click on the X, it will disconnect from there and then reconnect to whatever next question you want to show like this. That's it. And so here I'm just going to go ahead and disconnect again and reconnect to the right one right here. But this is how it works. All you have to do is connect the different nodes to the right next question based on their answer choice. After they answer all the questions, this last question, then they will see an opt-in form. And after they opt in, then they will uh, see the final outcome on the outcome screen. This is how it works. Super simple. So now let me show you how you can create an assessment quiz using SQB. Let me give you a quick demo of this. Here I have personalized this quiz. So users have to enter their name first to start the quiz. So here you can see I have personalized the question using their name. And I'll show you how you can set this up. So this is again a pop-up quiz. And I'm going to select. And here you can see it shows the correct answer, incorrect answer right here. That's my configuration in the back end. So here I'm going to select the answer choice. Just go ahead and complete the quiz. All right, you got four correct out of five and it shows all the answers right here. You can see I got four correct answers, one incorrect answer, and there is a retake quiz button. Users can click on it to retake the quiz. Really simple, right? And now let's go ahead and take a look at the back end and see how I have set this up. So this is the quiz basic settings, quiz name, description. This is an assessment quiz, display settings. Here, this is a pop-up quiz, progress bar, yes, retake, yes. How many retake attempts are allowed? You can set a limit here. Lead generation screen, yes. So here it adds users to WordPress by default and I have also connected it to my Aweber list. Outcome screen, do you want to calculate outcome based on the number of correct answers or range, range of answers? So here I have selected range. Do you want to display correct answers? Yes, I want to display it. Where do you want to display the correct answer? Display it after each question and also on the final results page. You have different options here if you want to display Correct and correct answers only on the final results screen. You can do that too. This is the start screen. And again, I'm using a button. I'm not using a screen. I've selected this option. Everything is click and edit. You can change the contents. Question screen. I have five questions in this quiz. You can see there is a customizer right here for your questions. And I'm using a multiple choice option here. Question two, again, multiple choice. So you can add different types of questions. Right here, you can see these are all the options. And here I have personalized the quiz using this merge tag. You can see percent percent first will allow SQB to replace final question and this merge tag with the participant's first name. And to personalize it, you need to go to the settings page and enable personalization option for this quiz. So this is the SQB settings page in the advanced quiz settings. You can see here I have configured it to ask for first name before the question screen pops up. So I have enabled this. And again, everything is click and edit. You can customize it to say whatever you want it to say for your quiz. It is configurable at quiz level. And here you can check the box next to the correct answer. So this is important. And I have three different outcome screens here. Outcome one, if their score is between four and five, they're going to see this screen. If their score is anywhere between these numbers, they're going to see this message. And it says, Hello, and first name again is personalized and you got this many correct answers out of this many. So this will be replaced with the right number of correct answers they got. And outcome three is zero to one. So this is how assessment uh, quiz works, which is based on total number of correct answers. And the short code, finally, it gives you the short code. You can publish it on any page where you want the quiz to show up. And that's what I have done here. This is just a short code. Users click on it. It's going to show them the first question. And because it's a personalized quiz, when users enter their name, only then they can see the first question. So now let me give you a quick demo of a scoring quiz created using SQB. Here I'm using a start screen. I'm not using a button. I'm using the entire screen here. Take this quiz. And this is slide in animation. Again, this is something you can configure in the back end. So question, the next question slides in after they answer the question here. So this is a scoring quiz where total number of points are used to figure out the final outcome. So I'm going to go ahead and answer this quiz. This is very similar to the assessment quiz. I have the same questions, except this is a scoring quiz. So after users opt in, it's going to display the final result. And it says you got a score of four out of five. So total number of points based on the correct answers. And there's one incorrect answer, four correct answers. 
continue button, there is a retake button. And here you can see I have configured it to allow users to share their results on socials. All of this can be configured in the back end. So let me show you my back end setting for this quiz. This is the basic settings. Give your quiz a name, description. This is a scoring quiz, display setting, in page quiz. I'm not using pop up here, pagination, slide and animation is enabled here, retake, yes, lead generation, yes, and range. Outcome is based on range. Correct answer display. Do you want to display correct answers? Yes, I only want to display the correct answer on the final results page. And template, I have selected template number two. Start screen. So you can see this is my start screen, fully customizable, everything that you see here. And question screen, same five questions that I had in my assessment quiz. The only difference is this is a scoring quiz and different type of questions are here. I have selected the right answer. And here this is points based and not correct answer based. So you can give the number of points they get for each correct answer. And the lead generation screen and the outcome screen, there are three different outcomes uh, based on what they get, their score. So I have created three different outcomes based on that. And the short code, you can publish it wherever you want the quiz to show up. So now let me show you the social share, the Facebook and the Twitter button that was showing up, how I have configured that here. So go to the social share page. So here you need to create a Facebook app uh, for your domain. And we have documentation that will show you how you can do this but you need to enter this to be able to use this feature, then select your quiz. So I'm going to select the quiz, share title. This is what will be shared. Share button. Do you want to display it? You can turn on and off. This is turned on and enter outcome message for Facebook. So when they share, this is what will be shared. I got a score of this out of this. All right. And then it will show them the quiz title, upload image that should be shared. This is the image that will be shared. Enter URL of the page that should be shared, which when users click on it, where do you want them to land back on? Enter the URL of the page that you want them to share. So enter that here. Customize the share section. You can click on it and you can change this text to say whatever you want to say. But you can't change this button, but you can change this message here. And that's it. This is how it works. And that's it. Really simple. And now this will result in users seeing these buttons. On the final outcome screen, they complete the quiz. They will see these buttons. And with the click of the button, they can share their results on social. And if someone finds it, they click on it. They will arrive back on this page and they can do the same. Now let's take a quick look at a survey created using SQB. So this is my start screen and personalized survey. I'm going to enter my name. So this is a pop-up survey and you can configure it to be a pop-up in page. And how likely are you to engage? Did you have trouble finding anything? They can opt in here. That's it. This is the final outcome. And uh, this uh, screen that you see here, this is fully customizable in the back end. Now let me show you my back end setting. All right, so you can see basic setting, name, description. This is a survey, display setting. Here, in page, one question per page, and different options here, lead generation. And here I have selected template one, start screen. This is what they are going to see. Outcome screen, there's just one outcome because this is just a survey. Title is just thank you. And uh, you can type in whatever message you want here. Questions, I have five questions in this survey. And I'm using a GIF here. You can upload a video, a GIF, an image, whatever you want. And uh, this is an open-ended question. Lead generation, same deal. Users can enter their name and email. And short code at the end, it's going to give you a short code. Publish it wherever you want the survey to show up. And also I have enabled branching logic here for this survey. Let me show you that. You can see here, there are five questions in this survey and uh, the answer depends on the next question. So if uh, they select recommended by someone, I want to ask them, do you mind telling us who referred you or who recommended us to you? So they can type in the answer. So the next question depends on the previous answer. So just a simple uh, survey funnel here. Uh, I'm just asking this extra question based on the answer, all right? So you can see how easy it is to create different types of quizzes and quiz funnels and survey funnels using Smart Quiz Builder. And there are so many examples of this. If you want to see on our site, this is our site. Uh, digitalaccesspass.com. DAP is a membership plugin for WordPress. This is another one of our plugins. And you can see here at the top, we are using a quiz like this. Users can click on it. And uh, we ask a few questions that helps us figure out what license will work best for them. So that's our recommendation at the end. So based on the answers, they're going to see the final outcome. So let me just go ahead and pick a few answers here. So here you can see it says, it looks like DAP is exactly what you need for your membership. And it tells them what package 
what license is best for them. It says it appears you just need a basic license and the recommendation is based on their answer. So this is really helpful for the uh, prospects that are looking to purchase DAP and are not sure what license will work best for them and for us because it tells us a lot about our prospects. All of this information is uh, in SQB. So let me show you that in the back end. In the reports page, you will find full report, right? How many views, clicks, completed, all of that. And in the manage users page, you will find different users that have taken your quiz and when they took the quiz and when you click on view result for each quiz, you will see the full detailed report. You will see full detailed report. It will show you the quiz details, when they took the quiz, uh, what was their answer for each question that you had. All this information is here. Question and answer data. So here, based on the questions, you can see how many people took this answer, how many people uh, picked this answer. So you can see all the details here. In SQB settings page, in the notifications tab, you will see there is an admin notification and student notification. If you want to receive an email when someone completes a quiz with all the questions and answers they picked, uh, all of their answer choices, enter your email here. As soon as someone completes a quiz, you will receive an email with all the details and you can respond back to them and let them know how you can help them. Student notification, if you want to send your users an email, when they complete the quiz, you can enter all the details here. So I hope this was helpful. My name is Veena Prashant and I have a Facebook group. You're welcome to join. You can ask any generic questions about SQB there. And if you run into any problems, have any issues, just open a support ticket. We are really good with support and my team will get back to you. Thank you so much for choosing SQB for your quizzes. I'll talk to you soon. Bye for now.